This is wine, and welcome to my first review. Now, this is not going to be like episodes of Good Beer, Bad Beer, where I'm constantly imbibing on different wines that I've never had before. Because there's a ton of Virginia and Maryland wines out there that have got to get their names out there and give them the credit to where credit is due. Um, there's obviously going to be a few reviews where there's some West Coast wines and some international wines that I've never tried before, and it might turn into a sort of good beer, bad beer review where I talk about the qualities and the weaknesses, but that's further down the pike. So let's get started, shall we? Now, this first wine that I'm going to talk about tonight is by far a personal favorite of mine. This particular wine is phenomenal. I mean, I've had a ton of different wines from this vineyard, and this vineyard, I'm going to go into detail later on, is my personal favorite. But this particular one just takes the prize. And I'm talking about Fox Meadow Winery's 2007 Barrel Fermented Chardonnay. Now, talk about the winery or the vineyard, like I said, Fox Meadow is by far, A, the first vineyard or winery, what do you want to call it, that I've ever visited, and is also my personal favorite. I first found it by sheer random chance in 2007 um, on my way back from the Shenandoah Valley. This particular vineyard is on Friesland Road in Linden, Virginia. If you check out my uh, blog, you'll see an earlier entry, written entry about it, and it gives the address and website and all that stuff. But anyways, neither here nor there. So, Fox Meadow itself is amazing. Uh, the owner, Dan and Cheryl Mortland, are the most giving and friendly people. Their staff is well trained. They know their wines. They know their pairings. They know everything like that. And I've had a ton of Chardonnay in my life, and none have held a candle to the 2007 barrel fermented Chardonnay. Now, 2007, at least from my experiences and whatnot, um, 2007 was a better year for Chardonnays than 2008. Um, alongside this particular wine, um, I've had a West Coast wine called Clos de Bois. Um, it's from Napa, I believe. Um, it's a Chardonnay, and their 2007 was a lot better than their 2008. And I'll go into the details in a little bit. But So I don't know if 2007 was just better for Chardonnay grapes in 2008, but being the fact that it's a West Coast wine versus an East Coast wine, and anything could go into detail about why the 2007 was better than 2008. Anyways, neither here nor there. So, that being said, let's dive right in, shall we? I had this out for about um, five minutes. Um, I bought it. Well, first of all, I bought it at the ABC store because you can actually, it's very hard to get this at the vineyard itself. But if you're in the state of Virginia and you're looking for this particular wine, go to the local ABC store. There's a small wine rack, at least the one near my place small wine rack that has a lot of Virginia wineries, so if you like what you hear, go out there, buy it for yourself. Um, it's got a nice crystal clear color on it. I know this is going to sound like it's turning into good beer, bad beer, but no, it's going to be a lot different than that, so just by the nose itself, there's a very light crispness to it, not very fruity. Um, and a very distinct oaky smell to it. A very distinct oaky aroma. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is it all Chardonnay barrel fermented or oak barrel fermented? No. There's usually two types of fermentation tanks for Chardonnays. There's obviously the oak or any particular wood. I've seen a couple of other wooden barrel types, but for the nine times out of ten, like with this one, it's oak. So that obviously, I'm thinking you're probably thinking like, well, isn't that uh, gonna you know obviously yield a more oaky scent? No. Um, and I'll get into that second. The second one, like I said, is steel barrel fermented, and that usually um, creates a less oaky uh, flavor to it. Obviously, even though I know some wines um, add do something with the fermentation process that's supposed to yield a more oaky smell to it, an oaky flavor, but so on and so forth. But going back to my earlier remark, that 2007 uh, barrel fermented Chardonnay 
um, versus 2008. Fox Meadow made a 2008 barrel for Man Chardonnay, and the scent and the flavor was less than the flavor of this, so, which I'll describe in a minute, so, cheers. The oakiness, it's powerful, but it's not overwhelming. Um, there's a distinct buttery taste to it as well. Um, slight citrus afternote to it, but for the most part, it's very light. It's not too uh, filling. The oakiness is very present there, um, but like I said, it's not overpowering. It's just right. I've had some sh barrel fermented Chardonnays um, where the oakiness just kind of kicks you smack in the head. So um, this one mingles both the oakiness and the wood, woodsy taste, a lot like the smell, but also has the buttery taste that is very familiar in a lot of Chardonnays, and then the light crispness of an afternoon to it. With autumn here in the DC metro area, this is the perfect sipping wine. Um, there's also, you can do a pair of this with a lot of things. There are a lot of phenomenal cheeses you can go with this. I would recommend maybe an herb um, cheese, something like maybe an oregano, or um, I know there's a tomato, uh, sun-dried tomato cheese out there that you can get some, some places. Um, or if you want to heat things up, there's a horseradish cheddar, which brings sweat to my forehead, but it's actually very phenomenal. And pairs perfectly with this. Obviously, there's the white meat, white wine kind of thing where you could pair this with a roasted chicken or a sautéed chicken, something with some olive oil or garlic and just a little bit of spice that would accent the oakiness to it and the butteriness without overpowering it. Or maybe a mild fish like a tilapia, um, mild in flavor, um, tilapia, orange roughy. I could see this going with maybe tilapia, orange roughy, or even if you want to get a lunch grouper um, fish dish or fish tacos, if that's your thing, or fish filet. But you want something that's not going to be sharp, not biting. You want something that's going to accent this, not overpower. You don't want the wine to overpower the meal, and you don't want the meal to overpower the wine. But I can guarantee this wine, the 2007 uh, Fox Meadow, is my ideal sipping wine. You could sit outside on a perfect fall evening and drink this. You could probably drink most of the bottle and you probably would not even know that you consumed it until you look over and go, oh crap. Now, I told you I was going to make a contract with the 2008. So, once again, the 2008 was an oak uh, barrel from Ed Chardonnay. It's very good, and I still get the 2008. I still love it, but I like my Chardonnays to be a little more on the oaky side, and the 2008 Chardonnay was a lot more buttery. There's still the taste of the oak in it, and there's still the smell of the oak, but it is not as strong as I would have liked, particularly after having this particular one. Now, that's all obviously according to your palate. You can go either way. Um, if you like a stronger oaky taste, I would recommend the 2007. If you want something that's more citrusy and buttery, there's the 2008. But they're both very good, and you can do whatever it is you feel with it. But in my opinion, the 2007 is my favorite of the Chardonnay category. You can cook with it. I know I wouldn't, but if you're trying to impress somebody, family, friends, hot date, anything like that, and you want to add a little bit of a kick to it, that's what this is all about. Or, if you're like me, you can sit on your balcony and watch the sun drop, um, watch the leaves change color like a romantic sap, have this to keep you company. And it works wonderfully. Um, I definitely would recommend this. Like I said, I don't know if there's any bottles left at Fox Meadow. If there are, ask Dan, ask Cheryl, ask Tamara, um, ask any of the help there. If they have it, get it while you can, while the getting is good. Or, like I said, go to the local ABC store. I'm sure they should have some more out there. At least that's what I was told. And I found a few bottles of it, and I am hoarding them like I'm preparing for the apocalypse. Um, so, the flavor's great. The smell is amazing. The color's perfect. It's the ideal blend of Chardonnay of both sharpness, flavor, um, sweetness, butteriness, tartness, everything like that that goes with Chardonnay. 
So um, with that in mind, until, to adhere, until my next entry, to adhere to an old Spanish proverb, with wine and hope, anything is possible. Cheers.